optimistic are you about Sunday's game? Uh, I felt great being back out there with the guys, um, running around, playing playing the game that I love. Um, just working, we're working, you know, trying to trying to get ready, get get healthier, and get close to being back out there full time. Yeah. Um, it's a, it's a feel, you know. I got, I missed a lot. I missed a lot of time in, in training camp, so I don't have many reps under my belt uh, for this for this campaign. So I definitely got to get those in, get in, get in plan shape, and get my hands right, my timing right, communication right with the guys. So uh, I never know without without doing it. So I got to get in there and, and get active. I know you're a guy that always wants to be out there no matter what. Uh, just to give us some perspective, how'd you do it last year? How'd you do it? Last year? Yeah. Um, See, I was able to get some some camp work in, and then uh, getting banged up week one, it just it just goes to my preparation, doing a, doing a lot more uh, film study, understanding my limitations physically, and then um, you know my off the field preparation as well with the strength staff and the uh, training staff to make sure that I'm ready to ready to roll. Back, my back, ankle, and leg were all listed on the report, <laughs> which is nothing new in terms of multiple things. Unfortunately, yeah. of those three, Teron, which one? kept you out last Sunday one in particular the leg more than one uh it, it's probably it was probably a combination if I had to say because I wasn't able to go out and do my do my work you know to, to get prepared and to be able to play and help the team win you know I want to be able to be an asset when I'm out there not a liability ever you know what I mean so if I'm not functionally able to, to do my job then it, it hurts the team so we'll never do that Ron, what was last week like for you I mean but did it go up till Friday or did you kind of know on on Wednesday uh, we, we worked early in the week to, to see, uh, but it just wasn't going to be able to, I wasn't able, wasn't going to be able to, to make it happen, uh, Sunday, but we kept, kept pushing, got off the field and, and did more stuff inside. Um, but didn't want to take away from the preparation from Kendall and, 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 with, and Austin and those guys getting ready. Um, so this week able to get back on the field, get some reps, get moving. So we're working. Hey, um, How much do you think you'll practice this season? I mean, once a week or every, every Friday? Do you have every idea? every every chance I get? Every chance I get? Yeah. No, I, I listen. I love being out there. I love flying around, talk, talking talking smack to my guys. So any chance I get, I, I'll be out, I'll be out there. How you know? proud were you of the guys? Yeah. I mean, oh my watching God. that game. I, mean. I was listen. It was a great great game as a fan of the, of the sport. <laughs> Just the, the back and forth, the man, the, the energy, the momentum going back and forth. It was a great game. Just as a football fan. But you know, we winning, us winning, just man, I was going crazy, crazy. Hey, hey Teron, so you said as a fan, so you were sitting there, you heard the, the crowd, right? Yeah. It was, it was crazy. I thought it was pretty crazy. Yeah, Tua, Tua, Reek, uh, all the guys was talking about like, it was like a home game towards the end of the game, like, because I saw them, they, they were standing on the bleachers on the on the bench and was like pumping up the crowd. I'm like, not at, <laughs> well, not at home. But I can hear it through the TV. I'm like, yo, fans, fans showed up. Showed up. That's that's so important, especially on the road. You get that type of crowd noise, and they gotta go silent now. That mess up their communication. Like that play a part. That play a part. So you actually stayed behind the rehab, right? Yeah. Is that unusual? Do you almost always travel even if you're banged up? Uh, it was more. It was more so Mike' decision with the six-hour flight. Uh, we just stayed back and, and hit the ground. Hit the ground running. Stayed after it to be able to to be out there today. I remember talking to Zach Thomas once about. How bizarre it was to be like on the grill while his team was playing at his house. Were you <laughs> at your house? Yeah, I was at home alone. Home alone, yeah. No distractions. I locked in. It was weird. It was weird. It's tough, especially like right before kickoff. It's just a adrenaline. I was, and I don't even get nervous. I was just like, just had some nerves for some reason. Then we kicked off and I'm and I settled in and first drive we going good. We fumble. So those guys responded back to that. Tough, tough challenge handling adversity early. First game of the season, I couldn't be more impressed with the guys. Toronto, this week be just seeing how your body responds every day, and then Friday, you and Mike and the medical staff, if needed, make a decision on Sunday. I'll be back out there tomorrow, hitting it, hitting it full speed, just trying to get game ready. Thank you so Thanks much. Thank you. Appreciate you. People talking about the whole turf situation this week. Yeah. Do you have an opinion on that? I'm a grass fan. Always been. Always been a fan of, a fan of grass. I don't know the analytics about, you know, spikes on the turf or grass. I'm a fan of grass. I played this game forever since I was five, year, five years old on grass, so I've always been a fan of it.